Joining us today is Archbishop Mitch Rosansky, just appointed uh, the new Archbishop of St. Louis to be installed real soon. Archbishop Rosansky, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, I'm very honored to have this chance to talk to you right after the, uh, the appointment. How are you doing? How are you feeling about all this? Well, Bishop Reed, first of all, thank you for the opportunity to meet with you today. And uh, it was a, a big shock to me when I heard the word from the nuncio about being transferred uh, as to Archbishop of St. Louis. And uh, bittersweet because I've really found a home here in the Diocese of Springfield, Massachusetts. Uh, great welcome amongst the people and the, the priests, deacons, and religious men and women. So I, I will miss working with them, and uh, my prayers continue to be with them and for the Diocese of Springfield as we move to the future. And you were introduced uh, last week uh, at the cathedral in St. Louis, and I believe it is on August 25th, what would be the Feast of St. Louis in the Cathedral Church of St. Louis that you'll be installed as Archbishop. Is there any chance that we could share that with our viewers here on Catholic TV, do you think? Oh, I hope so. I, I hope too. so indeed. It's just the Cathedral of Basilica itself is magnificent. The largest collection of mosaics in one building in the United States, beautifully done. Uh, it took 80 years to complete those mosaics. What a, a magnificent expression of our faith. Now, uh, our original reason to speak with you today, uh, but then the announcement changed everything, uh, is the fact that you're apostolic administrator still of the Diocese of Springfield, and I know your great love for the people there in the diocese, and the Diocese of Springfield is observing a 150th, a very significant anniversary. Uh, there'll be a mass, I think, on television this weekend, and then some celebrations coming up. Can you tell us about the, the celebrations? Well, our original celebration would have been uh, Sunday, June the 14th, because that is the actual date that Pope Pius IX established the, uh, the uh, Diocese of Springfield in 1870. So June 14th is the actual date of our anniversary. But we have moved that date to closer to the Feast of the Archangels because St. Michael the Archangel is the patron of the Diocese of Springfield. So that will take place September 27th, the Sunday closest to September 29th, the feast day of the archangels, of which, of course, St. Michael is one of them. These are certainly uh, challenging times for all of us with the global health crisis, and it's particularly difficult to celebrate uh, and to gather uh, with um, large groups of people. Uh, these things become uh, suspect, and, and we just don't know what the future holds. Uh, but can you tell us what other activities are planned for the Diocese of Springfield to celebrate this significant 150th anniversary? Certainly. We have, coming up in October, uh, our Family Life Conference, Catholic Life Conference, and that will be held at the Mass Mutual Center here in Springfield. Original date was in March, but of course we know in March everything came to a stop. So we were able to transfer that date to October, and uh, we will have uh, at the, the uh, Family Life Conference or Catholic Life Conference, uh, 1,400 people had registered, and most of them are still committed from that date in March till uh, the date that we meet in October. So that's a huge celebration of what our Catholic faith is all about, and how do we go forth from there in living out our Catholic faith. So our speakers who are coming will help us to really live the beauty of what our faith is about. 150 years, we have to look back to the past to be thankful, but we also know as a church, we always march toward the Lord. So we look at the present and the future. Well, you know, the western part of Massachusetts, for those who are watching in other parts of the country, the western part of the state of Massachusetts is just a beautiful area, and it's also a fantastic um, diocese and community of faith. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm certain uh, that you're going to miss, uh, as you've already said, Archbishop, the people and the church of western Massachusetts. 
Um, and we're very fortunate here at the Catholic TV Network to be collaborators uh, with the Diocese of Springfield in terms of programming. So uh, we really do look forward to, to meeting you again in St. Louis, perhaps bringing your installation mass on the 25th of August to our viewers. And maybe we could bring Catholic TV to the Archdiocese of St. Louis. Who knows? We can look to the future. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for helping to plan in that and for uh, bringing the good news to so many people through Catholic television. Well, you're welcome, and thank you for your friendship uh, over the years. It's been great to get to know you a little bit. I'll, we'll all miss having you around in, in New England, but um, we know that the people of St. Louis are blessed to have a great new shepherd. So uh, God bless you in these days when you're shuttling back and forth between Springfield and St. Louis, and um, may God give you the strength and the courage and the depth of faith uh, to begin well uh, in this new assignment that the Holy Father has given to you. Bishop Breed, thank you for your friendship and for your support over these years, and also for your presence and guidance of Catholic television, which so many people benefit from uh, all of your shows. Thank you. You're welcome. Archbishop Mitch Rosansky of the Diocese of Springfield, soon to be installed as Archbishop of St. Louis. Thank you so much for joining us. And we're going to go back now to more of This is the Day.